Hi, Jonathan Perkins here, Bex Hybrids PFR Agronomist and Location Lead out here in the fields, wheat fields of Effingham, Illinois today. So we're here in the April time frame now. Uh, we talked to you out here in our planting depth study, which is what we're standing in again here today, uh, back when we were in late January. And what we were looking at at that point in time was wheat that hadn't broken dormancy yet, uh, that basically was still looking pretty brown at that point in time. So we had referenced maybe some heaving issues that we might see in the planting depth study. And now sitting here in the April window, uh, we are at April the 12th actually today. We have wheat that's feek 6 uh, pushing into feek 7. So you can see it's a lot greener out here, a lot more wheat than what there was in the past when we shot that first video. So some of the things I referenced from that, if you recall, were we wanted to look at things like what heaving might do and uniformity of stand. So we've actually flown the UAV a little bit. We've got some of that footage here in this video. And you can see that uniformity in stand as we move across the depth. So standing right here, here, I look to my left hand side over here I have the half inch depth on this side and then the two inch depth over here so we're in the middle part of the study middle repetition of data you can see quite a difference in what we're seeing between those depths obviously an inch and a half a difference we should see that but one of the things that we noted whenever we took some pictures of the heights out here before is that the one and one and a half we're actually showing to be about the tallest and the most uniform and consistent between those two but we still kept that uniformity at the two inch depth as well whenever we looked at it. So referencing the heaving and getting back to that, this year we didn't really have the conditions for it. We had the freeze and thaw like I talked about we might experience, but we really didn't have much moisture to move that profile up and down at the surface level when we experienced the freeze and thaw until a little bit later. Um, and another thing that plays into that uh, is the fact that really with a planter and like we mentioned too with a drill we can control those depths a little bit better than the broadcast application so whenever we're actually putting the seed into the ground more uniformly we avoid the issues that we can potentially face from heaving now another thing that plays into this as well you know I, I really think that it's because of those two factors primarily however whenever we look at the stands that we had early season you know from back in the fall we got pretty good establishment. We, uh, we achieved that. That's what we were shooting for. So whenever we have good fall establishment, the heaving issue doesn't show up as much either because we have a little bit more root development. So now we're going to talk about what we're actually seeing out of some of these depths. We're going to put them on a board for you and showcase what the differences are here, looking at not only the depths, but also the heights of those plants. So let's take a look at that. So as we can see here on the board from left to right goes from half inch to inch to one and a half to two. So what we notice with that is you do still see a stair step like what we'd expect to see. However, you know, whenever we look at the stands out here, especially if you look from the side instead of straight down the row or look from above like the UAV footage, we see a lot more uniformity whenever we look at the inch and a half to two inch depths. And we can see that those are some of the taller ones. Now, we don't always want height. Height's not everything in wheat. However, what it does show you is that we had more uniformity and better growth initially out of the inch and a half to two inch depths. So we'll see how this equates to yield. You know, maybe it does equate to it, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it shows a whole different story than what we'd expect to see. But that's part of the reason as to why we're doing this study. So to recap, you know, we didn't really see the differences in heaving like we, what we might have expected to see. Uh, again, that ties back to moisture, it ties back to environment, ties back to what we saw as conditions progress through the season and how we planted this wheat. So with that in mind, those are the differences that we see there. Now, when we look at the stand uniformity, obviously that's going to be a key factor. When we talk about how many tillers that we have out here, how many overall uh, main stems and heads that we get per acre, that's going to equate to yield in the end or should. So when we think about that and what we've seen in combination with the effects here today, the observations that we're seeing in these depths, I really think that somewhere in that maybe inch and a half to two inch range might yield the most, but who knows? That's what, again, we're trying to find out here today. So stay tuned with us. Uh, we encourage you to watch for this data whenever it comes out and to see what the right planting depth was for this season. And who knows, maybe we'll continue this into the future. So like and subscribe below or comment on hashtag PFR if you want to follow us more on there or hashtag ask PFR, excuse me, and follow us. Stay tuned with us as we move throughout the season into corn and soybeans as well. Thanks again.